Hello everybody, Wild Bill for America here, joined by Junior, the Tea Party Pitbull. <laughs> He's Tea Party because he will not be silenced. Is it true that we are renaming the White House the White Mosque, at least until Obama is evicted? Might as well be. Mr. Obama's been more loyal to the Muslim Brotherhood than to the USA for some time now, and if Hillary moves into the White House, we might as well call it the White Kremlin. And for you Obama supporters who have no idea what the Kremlin is, look it up. Did you see where Jordan's king was so outraged by ISIS burning that pilot to death that he suited up and flew combat missions himself? Wow. I wonder what it would be like to live in a country with a manly leader. Right now one would have to move to Israel to really know that feeling. But please don't think that I'm dissing Mr. Obama. I'm sure he's willing, but there just aren't that many combat missions that can be done while riding a girl's bicycle. Now, if you're not a liberal, you have probably noticed that mosques and terrorism go together like peanut butter and jelly. You don't always find them together. Yes, I said peanut butter and jelly, but often you do. Every Islamic terrorist attack can be traced to a mosque somewhere. Hey, I know, let's follow the Obama plan to build 2,000 new mosques in the USA. They won't cost much because nations that support terrorism are more than willing to pay for them, and they won't be a drain on law enforcement because Obama has forbidden federal law enforcement from investigating mosques. <laughs> Gee, what could possibly go wrong there? Yes, until the White Mosque goes back to being the White House, America's gonna go the way of the Keystone Cops. But unlike the Keystone Cops, I fear that Americans are going to die because of the ridiculous lack of leadership in Washington, D.C. Now is the time for men and women of courage to stand up, rally their friends, and run for office. Now this is a message that needs to be hammered home loud and clear. I want to thank those of you who are monthly donors. Facebook and Google have been blocking a lot of my ad revenue, so I'm relying on monthly donors to keep these videos going, and it hasn't been easy. So please, if you believe in what I am doing, please click that donor button up in the corner or go to my website and become a monthly donor. This is Wild Bill for America. Thanks for watching and America bless God again.